Hello world, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, it's the 26th of February. I've got a hell of a day in front of me, I've got to write all the forecasts for February. I suddenly remembered this morning, I haven't done, I haven't done March's forecasts yet, so hell of a day in front of me. Um, Grand Cross and Eclipse 1999. On the 11th of August 1999, I stood on the southwest tip of Cornwall in England in the rain. And sure, the clouds parted for a few seconds and we did see the eclipse, albeit very briefly through the haze. And there was a large dark spot for about 30 or 40 seconds. And in that time, certainly all the birds landed and stopped singing and just folded their wings. All the cows got together in a circle and just laid down. All the dogs went mad and a lot of the humans went to pieces a little bit as well. It's a crazy time that, that it was a grand cross and a solar eclipse. And that took place with, what was it, Uranus was at 14 degrees Aquarius. Mars was at uh, 16 degrees of Scorpio. Saturn was at 16 degrees of Taurus. And the sun and the moon, the eclipse sun was at 17 stroke 18 degrees of Leo. So, and that took place in the middle of the fixed signs on the in bulk uh, Beltane, Lamas and Sawain points in the horoscope, the middle of the fixed signs. And then we come to the Grand Cross brief Grand Cross, I don't remember the actual date, but I know it was in 2010, which was an eclipse also, and that took place at zero degrees of the cardinal signs, 45 degrees on from the eclipse of 1999. Then we come to the Grand Cross and the total lunar eclipse, not solar, lunar eclipse of 2014. Followed a few months later by an extremely powerful full moon on the 10th of August 2014 in exactly the same space as the solar eclipse of the 11th of August 1999. But this year's full moon on the 10th of August is exactly square Saturn, exactly opposite the place where it was 14 and a half, 15 years ago in August 1999. This is one of the many reasons why I'm seeing us as in the end of a large cycle, an eclipse pattern and grand cross pattern, which seems to be um, opening up in 1999 with the actual incre intense hardcore surgery metaphorically taking place between July 2010 and January 2014. And then the actual incisions, the, the actual procedures, the actual stitching up, cutting, suturing, all that being done between January 2014 and April, May 2014 with outcomes being revealed by August 2014. The eclipse of 1999. I remember forecasting how this was going to change the world. And for a couple of years after, I had to hold my hand up and go mere culpa because nothing happened. There was no major political or economic or militaristic revolution. There was no intervention. There was no world changing dynamic in 1999, which relates to the Grand Cross of that time and the total eclipse. However, what I have found out looking back is that in a good 30% of individuals' horoscopes, August 99 represents such a see change, such a point of personal crisis, challenge, change, development, in a way that is extremely similar to this Grand Cross. Normally, when I see big patterns in the sky, including Grand Crosses, they affect one in 10, maybe one in nine of people. But this one's affecting one in three, one in four. And, of course, with a lunar eclipse smack in the middle of it, around the 16th of April, I do expect some pretty shaky developments. And now, as I speak now at the end of February, we are coming to the end of the Mercury retrograde. Shapes are coming out of the mist. Clear developments are beginning to take place. And the next week, my goodness, the next week's going to be huge with all the planets going retrograde and direct. And I'll be doing a section of videos on the upcoming retrograde phenomena over the coming three or four days whilst I'm not here because I'm going to be in central London. 
giving readings to existing clients and members of the public at the wonderful place which is Treadwell's Bookshop. As, as I speak, on Wednesday morning, I have still got five slots left on the Saturday and four on the Sunday. I've sold out completely. I'm completely booked up on the Friday. So anyone who's in central London who wants to see me face to face on the Saturday or Sunday of this coming weekend, drop me a line in the next 24 hours. You've got my email. All right, folks. Catch you later. Bye.